How's it going guys? So today in this video, what I'm gonna be going over is probably one of the most asked questions when it comes to your gargoyle geckos, and that's how to get them on insects. Seems like typically, not like other species <clears throat> um, of geckos that are more, you know, insectivores, um, since they're kind of like a mix. Uh, seems like it's not really built into their instincts to instantly see an insect, recognize it, and strike it right away. Some of them will, but honestly, it's rare. So uh, I'm going to go over a couple tips that have helped me be successful um, in getting, you know, every single gargoyle I've had um, onto insects. But the number one thing I will say before we go into actual strategy is persistence. That's the most important thing. I've been, I've had gargoyles where I couldn't get them on an insect for months at a time, um, but eventually they do. And I, that's what I'm going to show you is the one uh, right in here. So uh, just remember that persistence, don't give up if they don't do it the first time, if they don't do the fifth time. Um, typically when I'm trying to get on, get them on insects, I'll try every week, uh, maybe once or twice a week. Once they get on that first one, Sometimes they start, you know, warming up to it. You still might have to try a couple times um, after their first one, but eventually they warm up to it where they instantly just go for it right away. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you a quick little strategy um, that has worked for me in getting any gargoyle I've wanted to on insects, but it's not always the first time. Remember, it could take a month, it could take six months. Um, it just matters about your persistence. So what I'm going to do is show you what I actually do really quick here. All right. So this is what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need some feeding tongs, a knife. Don't use one that you're going to cook with. I'll show you why. Um, a paper towel, just so you know you don't get stuff all over your table or whatever. And then your insect of choice. These are just dubia roaches. I just dusted them real quick. I wish I could get bigger sizes, but last time I needed some, um, these were all they had. But they'll do um, dusted with uh, calcium with a vitamin D3. Um, so you can use any insect. Well, I will say that the insects that I've used and had success with are DB roaches, crickets, um, Wax worms, black soldier fly larvae, and mealworms. Those five, I've tried this method, um, and it works for all five. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, this isn't a gargoyle. Oh, it is a gargoyle. I grabbed the wrong bin. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, let's redo that. <laughs> First thing I'm going to show you is a Chihuahua Gecko. Um, now, the reason I'm showing you this is to show you the difference um, with a gargoyle and we'll just use this Chihuahua um, as an example. So, I'm just going to grab a roach, trying to do this one hand. Oh my gosh. Can't get it right on its head. Okay, this will do. So, a little scared. Didn't know what's going on, but as you can see, missed that one a little bit. So, I took everything out of here so you can see it, but as you can see, had no issues with that at all. Looked at it and wanted to kill it right away. Now, that's not the same with gargoyles. So let me put the lid back on this. Please make sure I don't pinch them in there. All right. Now. This girl right here. This is blood splatter. Now, she was one of the 
pickies, gargs I had, that hated to have anything even near her face. Um, she refused insects for the longest time. So I'm going to show you a couple things once I uh, set this camera up. All right, so we are back. Here's blood splatter. Um, what I'm going to do is grab the roach. Position it a little bit better like this. Then I'm going to let her put it up to her mouth. See, she hates it. Um, so that's one of the things I wanted to show you. Even though she takes insects, that's a lot of the reaction that you're going to get. Um, especially the first time that you try to feed them is they just don't understand. So what you need to do, take this, take this roach. Like I said, me wearing wax, wearing black soldier fly larvae. Uh, dubia roach, cricket, whatever. Crickets and um, dubia roaches, all you do is take your knife, cut its head off. For black soldier, um, the mealworms, the wax worms, all I'm doing is like, okay, pretend that's a worm. I'm just taking it, put a little slit in his body. The reason I'm doing this is because you want the guts. It's kind of gross, but if you want them to eat, and that's what you gotta do. You want the guts like that, you know, to be sticking out the moist part of it. Because what you're gonna do Put it up to them. Look. See, she starts licking it. There you go. So, guys, try this method out. Sometimes they won't even, um, they still won't do it. So, guess what? Um, second thing, they aren't going to take it right like that. Right? She's ha she knows the taste of it, so that's easy for her. If they aren't going to take it normally... Then, what you need to do is take that little slime, the guts, rub it on their nostrils. Okay? Rub it on their nostrils, on each of their nostrils, so you aren't harming them. This is preventing any airflow to go in. Now, I'm not holding it on there. I'm just rubbing the guts on there, so it's, it's like a bubble. You know, it's it's a film of liquid um, over their nose because what's going to happen is it's going to force them to lick their nose just like that. Once they start licking their nose, they had no choice but to actually taste the insect. Um, so when I rub it on their nostrils, they start licking their nose. When their tongue is out, I'll try to demonstrate this. When their tongue is out, that's when you stick it up um, to their mouth. Because when their tongue is out, um, and they're just normally just licking their nose to clear the airways, you put their uh, the insect right in their mouth where they had no choice. When they go for that lick for their nostrils, they're automatically hitting the guts. Then all of a sudden, they start licking it like it's some, some Pangea. Um, a lot of times, they'll lick it, lick it, lick it, and then eventually they'll go for that bite like you saw her. She licked it a couple times. She realized it was food. She went for that bite. Sometimes they don't understand what to do with it. You know, they're used to eating their Pangea, which is just licking, licking, licking. There's no biting or chewing to it. So um, you cover their nostrils. They start licking it. You put the guts up to their mouth. Then they start licking the guts. What you can do is once when they have their mouth open for a lick slightly slide the bug into their mouth 
You aren't forcing it in. You aren't force feeding them or anything like that. But you're putting it in between their jaws, which there's no way for them to close their jaws unless they bite down on the insect. Once you get that first bite, as you notice with her, if you want to rewind it, um, you can clearly see when they lock their jaws together. That's the bite. Once they get that first bite in on it, typically it's game over from there. They'll end up swallowing the rest. And you just need to repeat this process, repeat this process, repeat this process. She's been on insects. Um, I mean, it took her about, you know, 10, 11 months before she actually ate insects. Now, she will take them, but you have to cut the heads off for her. Um, and if that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. Eventually, though, they usually do transition over where they just recognize the tongs, the insect, and they just uh, bite it right away. So, guys, I really hope um, this helps some of you. If you have questions, make sure to direct message me on my Instagram at redrack, R-E-D-R-H-A-C. Um, and then that way I can help you guys out with this type of stuff. But usually if you do something like that, it usually works. And I know I didn't, you know, show you an example of what I was talking about um, covering their nostrils. But if you follow my steps, um, it will work. So, again, number one thing, recap that, is number one thing is persistence. This girl didn't eat insects for 10 months. As you can see, I wanted her to grow big because I really like her color. So I wanted to be able to breed her as fast as possible. She's coming up on about a year old. She's around 20 grams. But the majority of the weight that she's put on has come in the last, you know, three months when she started taking insects. Um, so it's only going to keep getting better from there. So number one thing, persistence. Number two, cutting the head off, putting the guts up to their mouth, letting them lick it. If they don't lick it right away, cover the guts, cover their nostrils up with the guts so that there's no air going through their nostrils. They have to lick their nostrils to be able to breathe. Once they lick their nostrils, slide the bug back up into their face so they have no choice when their tongue comes out to lick their nose, they also get a piece of that insect. All right, once they get a piece of that insect, they're gonna keep licking it over and over and over again, just like it's Pangea. What you wanna do, remember this is not force feeding, you aren't forcing it into your mouth where you're traumatizing them. Um, once they open their mouth to stick their tongue out to lick it, just slightly push the insect in, so that way some form of the insect is in between their jaws where the only way to close them would be bite down. Once they bite down, that's it. Let the insect go, let them swallow it. Sometimes they'll spit it out when they're getting used to it, that's okay. Listen, I'm only gonna try maybe like two or three times of them refusing it before I'm gonna give up because I don't wanna stress them out. But if you use this method, it's worked for me 100% of the time. Um, it doesn't always work the first time, but it will work. If you have any questions, uh, shoot me a message on Instagram um, and follow me on there and I'll be able to help you guys out. Thanks.